Hi guys, Songboy13. It's now time for my monthly video of the UK Outlook for June 2020. Uh, it's been nearly two months since I last left my area, but I'm going to save that story for another video. So, so far this May, it's been actually a very mixed month. It was a very warm start. VE day was very warm, near 23 degrees Celsius. Um, it then turned unseasonably cold uh, a couple of days ago, and then looks like it's going to warm up again next week. So, what a month it's going to be. Probably be an average month overall. Uh, but what would June 2020 bring? The first month of summer, and could it also be the month um, that would lock down be eased further we'll find out well mostly for weather stuff but just keep watching the news anyways guys let's go cracking on with june 2020 after the end show and also after my picnic which i'm now allowed to have as i live in england every day is different every video is different but my passion will always be the same This is Kai from Warshawn, aka Stormboy13, and the storm has arrived. Wow! Hello guys, Stormboy13. This is the first time out of my house, I, can, I think about two months, I'll finally be able to get camera out again. Um, it didn't say anything about you're not allowed to bring cameras with you, but because you're exercising, there's just no point. Now that the restrictions have slightly lifted in England, um, just, I don't see why not you can bring a camera with you to take pictures and obviously just get a bit of freedom out. But anyways, um, another black coronavirus news, let's focus on the outlook for next month's weather. So, what is June 2020 likely to bring? From my predictions and what according to actual weather, it is very likely the June 2020 could be nothing exceptional, but um, I think it will be a very sunny June from next month. We've have had a lot of sunshine for the last two months, and it may continue that into June, especially towards the second half of the month. A bit more cloud at times throughout the first half of the month. Similar with the temperatures as well. Temperatures close to maybe just a shade warmer than average, especially near the end of the month. Uh, first half of the month could be a little bit on the cool side of times, especially with the cloud amounts, but uh, not a huge amount of rain until mainly the last 10 to 5 days of June. Um, but in terms of rainy days, very, very little at all, actually. Uh, there will be some showers at times, um, but actually a dry June is likely. And over the last few months, we've been having a lot of dry weather. Uh, gardens may need quite a bit of water, so um, I wouldn't be expecting a major washout this month. Uh, sorry, next month coming up. Uh, I'm going to go through the breakthrough of the weather week by week, starting from the first week of June. And this week makes it easy. starts on a Monday. So the first full week of June, um, the week's weather... God, fly my camera. <laughs> go away. The... Lisa. Why about that? It's always happened to do with hay fever season. Anyways, back to the weather. The... <laughs> I can't believe I had it on camera. The first week of June... Uh, likely to be um, a cloudy start to the new working month. Um, temperatures, because of the cloud amounts, um, temperatures could be a little bit below average, especially for the first few days of June. Uh, so temperatures probably best into the mid-teens, 14, 15 degrees in most places. Some places, out of the cloud, may see temperatures higher than that. But um, uncertain the wind direction at the time being, but we could see... Um, a cloud area amounts of cloud bringing through across the region uh, towards the beginning of June, particularly towards eastern areas where towards the west is likely to be fine with some sunny spells. Uh, so a bit of a fresh start to June, but I think western areas, normally when this happens, may have the warmest of the weather, low 20s possibly there. But by the time we approach the end of the first week, the cloud amounts will break up. We may have a slight change in the wind direction, a bit of a westerly or southwesterly breeze. As Temperatures will be more widely into the high teens, low twenties, around average values for the time of the year. Um, but um, 
but not a lot of rain though. High pressure will be mainly be in control, but a bit more sunshine, temperatures will be a bit warmer. It's the first weekend of June. The uh, settled weather will continue towards then. Very few showers around us. High pressure again will be mainly be in control. No heat wave, but very pleasant temperatures. Low 20s, maybe the odd higher temperature in some places, but some places may be a little bit lower. But um, overall, um, very pleasant first weekend. And uh, sunshine amounts will ferry, cloud amounts will ferry, but a very pleasant first weekend. I think the second week of June is probably likely to be the coolest and possibly the wettest weather of the week. We are going to see some low pressure areas sweeping in control. Winds will be westerly to sometimes maybe a northwesterly, so certainly not going to be particularly warm potentially throughout the second week. So temperatures may be limited to the teens for nearly all places. Um, mainly with showers, I think there will be some sunny spells. Uh, I think cloud amounts, it's likely to be um, the heaviest towards the month. So not a huge amount of sunshine, temperatures also not particularly warm. So I think second week of June, showers in some places, or to be fair, nearly all places, but I think some places will be drier than others. I think especially towards western, uh, maybe northwestern areas because of the wind direction, slightly fewer towards the east, southeastern areas of the UK. But um, the temperatures are gonna struggle, I think, for about the second week. 18, 19 will be your very best for most places. By the second weekend of June, the weather will be likely to be improving a bit. We'll lose the westerly, northwesterly flow. Winds may change direction to a southwesterly. High pressure will start to take in control again over the UK for the second weekend. Some lengthier spells of sunshine, and those temperatures may recover quite quickly. We could see into the 20s uh, by the end of the second weekend for many places. So um, we should see a gradual improvement by then. Then the third week of June, after second week could be a very uh, disappointing one. It looks like it's going to be a complete change with the weather. We could possibly see a very brief warm spell midweek. Lots of sunshine according to AccuWeather towards the third week of June for most of the UK. Um, the temperatures will be interesting to keep an eye out, but I think mainly likely to be midweek, probably around Tuesday to Thursday around that week at the moment, it could change but we may possibly see um, a much warmer spell heading towards our way. We may get a bit of a brief southern flow. And for some places, high 20s is very, very likely, mid 20s elsewhere. With the sunshine so strong this time of the year, it is gonna feel very, very warm. Um, it does look like it will turn cooler later on. We may see a bit more cloud coming in towards the end of the third week. Temperatures closer to average, maybe one or two degrees above still. So, but overall, very, very warm week. Not a lot of rain once again. Few isolated thunderstorms can't be ruled out though. But the third week of June will be, um, could be a very summery week. Compared to like an autumnal week during the second week. So weather's gonna change around in one week. Um, warm sunshine likely, possibly hot sunshine for some places. Towards the third weekend of June, where it's Father's Day weekend, especially on a Sunday, mostly dry, few scattered showers in some places, still making a very dry spell so far. Um, temperatures still into the low 20s, a very, very pleasant weekend. Warmer times, especially in the strongest sun of that, throughout that time of the year. Um, low 20s, 22, 23 degrees in some places, so uh, still continuing on with the pleasant weather. Obviously it won't be as warm, but plenty sunny spells, very, very pleasant Father's Day weekend. Now the fourth week of June, um, I think it will start to turn quite a bit wetter, but not especially a washout. The fourth week of June, the 22nd to the 26th, um, temperatures close to average, maybe a little bit above at times, um, low 20s quite widely, no major heat wave, but we could see, um, obviously when we get a bit of a warmth, we could see some showers and some thunderstorms in places, as low pressure will start to take control. Um, but I think some days will be dry, temperatures might be a bit fresher into the high teens for most. Um, but it likely when we get some warmer days, we could see some storms or showers breaking out. Um, as low pressure will be coming in from the west, high pressure towards the east. The last weekend of June stays very showery. Um, temperatures very average though, high teens, low 20s, which is very pleasant. It will feel more warm than it would normally suggest from the temperatures because it's more humid. It might feel more like upper 20s. Um, but quite showery the last weekend. Plenty of warm sunny spells, but you could see a bit of a washout for some places in terms of heavy downpours and possibly some thunderstorms around. Um, so temperatures may be 21 degrees, 22 degrees quite wide in some places. The last weekend of June, last week of June that is, 29th and 30th, temperatures could rise once again. We might see clo temperatures close into the high 20s once again, another hot spell on the way. Uh, not as dry air though, and I think 
while there will be plenty of sunshine in places, uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms could become a little bit more um, widespread. So um, possibly a bit of a wash, slight wash out to the end of June, but we may see rising temperatures as the winds again go back into a south or southeasterly flow. Um, and that is it for this month's weather. So throughout the month of June, Temperatures a little bit warmer than average, most likely, um, although the second week of June could be quite a cool one. Rainfall totals will be, it will vary for some places, but most, likely for most places, a little bit below average, um, possibly until the very end of the month. But it will be a sunny June, um, nearly all places throughout the um, UK from June 2020. Uh, but yep. That is it for this month's weather's outlook. I hope you enjoyed it and um, hope it made it clear for you guys. Obviously it's not guaranteed this will be like that, but it's just a planning ahead. And I also hope the lockdown may ease next month, but obviously safety comes first. Um, more videos will be coming very soon. I know I've been a bit slow again. We'll be getting on track soon, but just please bear with me. I've got a lot of things in my mind at the moment in terms of the lockdown going on. But anyways, that's it guys. Have a fantastic week, or I hope you have a great month coming up if you can. Please stay safe still, and always stay alert for the coronavirus outbreak. And um, that's it guys. Storm is now out.